Hello, welcome. Thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create a business object, how we can insert data into that business object using CSV file, or simple term we can say how we can import data into the business object using CSV file. And later on, we will see that how we can export data of business object into CSV. All these things we are going to learn in this video. Let's begin. So before going to a start, I just want to show you that what kind of business object we are going to create. So here you can see I have created one CSV file, that CSV file having the employee details, the column you can see employee ID, first name, last name, gender, email and department ID. Based on that we are going to create business object and this is the excel sheet, this is the CSV file we will import into that business object. I created another table that you can see the department, so this department business object we will create and this is the data we will import over there. Same as I have one more table that is address one. So everything we are going to import and relationship if you will see the employee having department ID and in the department table we will have the department ID based on that we have the department details. All these things we are going to cover in that video. So how we can create a business object everything. So let's begin to that visual builder application. So this is our visual builder application. Now we have to create a new application. So I will click on this new. I will give the name as dependent table. Because this is the same I will, I will use for next videos where I will show how we can show the data, business object data in the VVCS space dependently on the another table. So that kind of things we are going to learn in the next video. So here we have to create business object. So for creating the business object, you can say this is our application dependent table 2. Inside that here you can see this is the icon of business object. You have to click here. In VVCS, business object is simply like table, database table. So now for creating business object, we have to click here in the business object plus icon. So once you will click here, it will ask you the name of that business object. So I will give the name something like employee BO. BO it means that business object. Click on create. So employee BO, no business object is created. Now we have to add the field to this business object. Field it means that table is created with the name employee BO and what column we want to add. By default, whenever we are creating business object, these columns are automatically populating. This is the ID. This ID will automatically generate by system. This will be the unique ID, right? And that we consider as a primary key too. So now here you can see, this is our Excel sheet. And this Excel sheet, however, whatever column, we will add that column in the business object. So let me go for first column that is employee ID. So I will click on this field field and give the name as employee ID and just want to make that every column as a varchar only that a string so click on create so you can see employee ID column is created now next we have first name so I will go for first name give the name first name created here so the same way I will go for last name too click on field click here you can see the last name here so last name is also created if you don't want to create column one by one here, you can go to the code also. So here this is the source, source for having the JSON code for each and every column and we, we can easily create column by here only. So you can see this is the string. So I will copy this one, give comma and here this instead of last name, I want to give name as gender. So I can provide the gender. This is a column name. This will be our column name and what value it will reflect. So I just want to show the same value gender but you can see oid it automatically generated for each and every column so we can change that oid any value so that it will it can be unique right so you can see we have that values created here so as this is unique and we have the exceeded of maximum column so i will remove that make it one so now you can see the oid will be unique everything is fine and if you will go to the field again you can see the new column created the new column which we created was having the gender column and if you will go to the field you will be able to see the gender here and the type is a string the same way we can create another column so let me go to make a copy of this one and instead of one i will make it two so that it can be unique and what will be the name of that column the so email address right so i will give email address here and another column i just want to give as make is 3 and the column name is department ID. 
so now you can see we created few columns with different different name different different ids and if you will go to the field all the columns automatically created here you can see the department id all these things right everything we are able to see if you will go to the data we are not able to see any data because this table doesn't have data right and here how we can insert data the simple and first way is that simply go click on this row and provide each and every values right you can see the id column is going to automatically populate and the rest of the details we have to insert so in, instead of giving the value from here what we will do we will use this csv file to load this is our csv file so the name of the csv, the CSV, CSV file is employee csv so for inserting data into business object using csv file or simple term importing data we have icon you can see the import icon right import from file so just you have to click here new pop-up will come up and here we have to select select the file for which file we have to insert the data so you can see just i will click here and it will ask us to select the file so you can see this is my file already there so you can see employee csv is the file for which we have the data so i will select here and once we will select we have to go for import once you will click on import whatever data there will be in the file all data will be imported imported into table and if there will be any error it will show that error too so right now you can see we don't have any error everything is fine that employee csv successfully imported to employee bo just click on close so once we will click on close you will be able to see the data so whatever data we have in the excel sheet the same data inserted here in this business object so this is the way we can create business object and insert data let me create another business object so another business object i will create for the department so i will give the name as department bo so just here i will go and click on this plus icon business object i will give the name as department bo click on create again the same way i need to go for the fields where we have to add the column so i will click on the field and here we have to give the column name so i will give the column name as department id type will be a string only so click here next will be department code i will go to field here department code department and the third will be manager so here you can see this table having all the columns and i told you earlier that whenever we are creating business object few columns by default added by system the column is created by creation date, ID, last updated date, last updated by all these are the who columns automatically created. So now our business object with all the columns created, if you will go to the data, again we don't have data. So now we, ha we have to import the data. So again I will click on this import button. I have to choose the file. So this is the department. So I have already created department.csv. Click on open. And now once we will click on this import, so that department data whatever we have in the department csv file the same it's already imported you can see the sequinder lx orisha lx all these things right again now if we want to create a new business object here we have to go click on business object and this will be address bo click on create and what is the data inside the address you can see the column is address one the first column again i will go to the fields click on field fields and here we have to give address 1 address 2 city state and the second to last column is country and the last column is employee so you can see these are the data type and all so I want to create each and every column as a string type only. That's why by default selected A, I will select this one only. Click on create. So now table business object with all the columns created. If you will go to the data, we don't have any data yet. Again, we have to go and import. So click on this button. Go and we have the address table here. I will select this address CSV file. Import. Close. You can see all the data inserted here in the business object. So now we have three business object, all these three business object having the data coming from CSV file. So now it's time to export the data. So how we can export the data, right? How we can export the data from this business object. So for exporting the data here, we have the icon you can see, export CSV icon. Once you will click here, it will automatically create one CSV file with the name of that business object. 
where we want to save this one we can go to save that so suppose i want to save here employee bo.csv just click on save so now you can see the csv file is saved here employee bo.csv once you will click here it will open csv file having all the columns you can see and i told you that whenever we are creating business object few columns by default is generating that id creation data last update created by and last updated by these all five are the who column if you don't want you can delete this one and if it is fine you can let it be the same and these are rest of the column we created with the value so this is the way we can export and we can import the data from business object into business object so thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries and you want to ask anything don't forget to comment and yes don't forget to subscribe this channel if you want to support us you can join our membership and you can give your contribution thank you so much for watching